How's it going, everybody? I'm Mega Metal Man X, and welcome to what is possibly the big finale and biggest moment of Shanghai.exe Genso Network. Will we finally find out the ROM leader's true identity? What is this devilish plan that they are trying to achieve? Well, stay tuned, because we will find out today! I just had to do another video in one night, because I am so excited. Xeno Waffles told me there will be spoilers, but I do not know anything beyond this point in the game. So, I am probably going to be really, really shocked at what I am about to find out in this, the final revelation of this wonderful game. So here it is, folks. The curtain call. Let's do this! Oh, crap. It's those robots again. I should have known Yukari built troops for Rom. Fuck. They sound like stereotypical robots. Alice, stay back. Leg stabilizers disabled. Continue to combat impossible. Told you she'd come and crash the party, and she did. Quite literally, I might add. It was a poor choice, engaging in close quarters combat. Alice Shinky? How are you here? Long story. I'll tell you all- I'll tell you all about that later while we're heading up to the ROM leader's quarters. I could ask you the same thing. Your boss told me the defenses were too thick to fight through. Then, here you are in a mobile weapon falling from the sky to crush a bunch of robots. Should we be expecting more falling robots? Or net agent reinforcements, for that matter? Yeah, are they gonna come raining down on our heads? Ah, uh, someone get me my hard hat. The last assault expended its momentum to allow me to push through. That should be the elevator to the deepest level. We must push the advantage. We'll have a strong backup if we need it. At least until we reach the leader. Druid Man is our real target. Let's follow Ryzen as soon as we can. Let's get this over with. This is it. The Day of Reckoning! Welcome. I suppose that's not appropriate to say to my enemies, though. You've sealed yourself in this room with your own barriers. Are you really that confident? <laughs> the ritual will be completed soon. The world will be ours. <laughs> that barrier is all that stands between you and justice. The moment it falls, all your plans will be worth nothing. You had best get to it, Ryzen Yegakoro and Alice Shinki. We will! Shanghai, jack in! The jack in terminal's behind you to your left. Yeah, uh, sorry. Must have missed that. Anyways, I'd like to believe that this is the end. However, this is ROM Comp number 4, where this demo supposedly comes to a close. And there is no final endgame content. But, here's hoping. It's about time we got to the bottom of this, quite literally. Now let's go!
Alright, am I in a correct style that I will want? Do I have the correct add-ons that I'll want? Something tells me I'll want that. You know what? No. I'll take I'll I'll take the other one. Oh boy. The purple visage, the skull background. This truly is ultimate. Wait, since when did I have a full synchro? Was that left over from the last video? Be cool, Cerno. You can dish it out. Now take it! Yeah, yeah it was. It took me a while to remember that. I had so many problems that I did not think I would have in the last video. That I forgot to remember a lot of stuff. No, go away! We don't have any time for you! The suspense is literally eating at me from the inside! Like a fucking xenomorph, dude! It's too much! I must find out the identity of the ROM leader! Is it really Sagume? Or could it be Yukari? Some way? It's a thin line. But we will soon find out. Either way. Sooner than later, I hope. Oh, for fuck's sake, what do you want me to do with this? Now this has become a puzzle. Alright. Thank you. Now we're at least we're getting somewhere. I hope. Zwa. Zwa Beetle. Zwa Beetle. Okay then. I guess they're meant to be the replacements for the Scuttles viruses that the Light Virus spawns from the original Battle Network games. And those things were really, really tough and a pain in the ass to deal with. Probably another reason why I never went back to Battle Network 1. Oh boy, Evil Eye, Omega. Well, it's better than Sigma, that's for sure. Probably less creepy, too. If you think about it, there's Sigma and Omega are two letters in the Greek alphabet. And if Sigma was the final boss or sort of recurring villain in the X games, then Omega makes sense. Because the Zero series were like a continuation of the X series. And Omega was the giant apocalyptic robot that Dr. Vile had created to destroy all of humanity in the image of Zero. And Omega is yet another Greek numeral. Sorry, I don't mean to bore you with really, really obvious facts, but I don't know, that's something I just picked up on.
Okay, I need to get over there somehow. puzzles screw you up the ass a thousand times and back again god damn it What the hell? I just touched a poison chip to go over here and touch another poison chip. Alright, let's see. Do I have any of those firewall sub-chips so I won't have to take random encounters? Okay. Hopefully that works. Okay, is there some sort of secret path? Some sort of secret invisible path that I don't know about or something like that? later. Are you jerking my joystick right now, man? I will say it once, and I'm going to keep saying it, over and over and if I have to. I fucking hate God damn puzzles! Ah! I guess it doesn't really help when you're in suspense and you really want to find out what's going on. You don't care anymore. You just want to get there. Ah! Fucking finally! Had to edit that shit out. That took like fucking 15 minutes worth of time that shouldn't have been wasted. But anyways found it. Let's keep going. What? Is there... Am I there already? There's usually a wrong Navi right about now. Shanghai, don't get distracted. Just wondering. 
Huh? Oh my! Who that guy? Looks like I got here just in time. Miss Azakura's Navi? She came to cheer me on? Something feels wrong. This place is plenty disturbing. I'll come with you. Alright, let's go. Swing! Yikes! Yorihime? Were you a traitor the whole time? Think for a second to block Yorihime's attack. That's no normal Navi. A clever spoof program, but I finally cracked it. That's the Navi of the ROM leader, Druid Man. Impressive! No need for this face if you've already figured it out. <laughs> oh, I wondered if I could catch you by surprise, but I guess it didn't work out. You, that voice. <gasps> no way. The mastermind behind everything, from the very beginning, the sole person who orchestrated this entire evil organization from the ground up, is none other than Mizurikako Azakura of Genso Elementary. <laughs> you never suspected a thing, even though I was right there! And holy fuck, her face! Oh my god, that is creepy. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight, legitimately, man. Oh my god, my heart! Just skipped a beat right just now. Everything in this whole entire ordeal just got flipped right the fuck over. Oh! The plot twists! Oh! I can't believe it! The person you'd least expect! Are we you just pretending to be stupid? That's fine, too. Miss Azakura! Why are you doing this? That's what I'd like to know. All of this. Nobody in the world can ignore my research now. Research? Azakura. I see. I remember reading a report on a research creature expelled from the Institute of Yurika. One Rikako Asakura. Indeed. I was once a scholar at the Institute of Yurika. I put years of study into the research of other dimensions. Of other worlds. But academic society cast me out. Expelled me. Said such things were forbidden. What is there to hide? There's so much that other dimensions can teach us! So I'll let them teach us! They'll teach the world the horrors of Beyondard! Which is, by the way, the real name for the Beyond. It was right there in front of my face. I could not see that. As I was translating it, that was coming out as Beyondard. But it just sounded, sounded too stupid to me to be real. But then, I decided to look up that name. And lo and behold, since I never watched the anime, it is none other than a Mega Man Battle Network Beast and Beast Plus term that is used in the anime as a term to describe the other world. And it's been implemented into this game. Very good. Very good. Koki, applause. Applause. The 
That's... That's... Connection to Beyond Dart established. Awaiting manual command input. It's time. Druid man, do whatever you need to do to keep those navvies from interrupting me. When the new world arises from the ashes, I'll restore you from backup data. I understand. I pray for your success. Miss Asakura! <laughs> I may be in for a tough fight. If I were to let you both attack me at once, perhaps. There's a huge energy reaction deeper in the cyber world. They're trying to buy time to complete the ritual. Go to Hime. Chase him down and end this. Yes, ma'am. Wait just a second. Are you going off on your own? What are we supposed to do? Alice, you are our final trump card. We'll do what we can to wear him down. Ryzen. What is this ritual, though? That is what I want to know. So, basically, from what I've gathered here, is that she's a psychopath who had her research condemned and decreed as pseudoscience, expelled from university and her teachings, so she decided to take her anger out on the world by founding an evil organization and opening the world to an evil dimension to let the darkness rip apart asunder the world as we know it and reshape it into a dark dystopian future. Yep. Sounds like a Mega Man villain plot if I ever heard one. We can't just sit here and watch. Shanghai, hurry and join them! On it. Now we end this! I don't know, I'm pretty sure Druid Man is the poison type. If I do get to fight him, that is what I'm guessing. There can be no other explanation at this point in time. Oh boy. Thanks for canceling out my full synchro, jackass. Alright, I'm gonna have to put up a firewall. Cause shit has just hit the fan, motherfuckers. Well, there you have it, folks. That is the end of this game. And now you see what happened to the project in its entirety. This is the end of the demo. Then the devs made Patreon demos and got Capcomed. Again, I must reiterate, the infamous, no, the famous hashtag that I have created just for this sole purpose. And I will say it loudly. I will say it proudly. Fuck you, Capcom. Fuck you. Fuck you to hell. Well, that's all the time we have, folks. But 
Hopefully we will get this all sorted out. It has to end. It must end. For the future of all the fans out there who support this game and love it so very much. Just like yours truly. So, until a possible next time, I hope you all liked this video. If you did, be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, or all three. So, until next time, if there is one, this is Mega Metal Man X, signing out. Peace out, y'all!